Well guys, Andy here and I'm back with part 4 of um, how to make your own build. So in the previous uh, builds we've, uh, sorry, videos, we've installed uh, skin, we've done our backgrounds, installed repos and add-ons and today I'm going to show you how to back up and be able to install your build on different devices. Okay, the way I do it, um, if I'm just doing it on local devices, i.e. other devices in my house, I just use Ares Wizard, alright? To do that, uh, go to System, and the File Manager, and you're going to scroll down and add a source. The source you want to get, I've already got it here, it's http colon forward slash forward slash androidaba.com forward slash add-ons. Okay, I will link that in the description of the video. Select done, and I'm going to call that Aries Wizard. Okay, and select OK. Now, you go back out, and you're going to go to add-ons, your add-on hub, and then into add-on browser, and install from zip file. We're looking at Aries Wizard here, at the top. And you're just going to scroll all the way down to you see script mod script dot Aries Wizard 0069 zip. Select that and let that install. Okay, just wait a second until you get the notification on your screen. So that should be coming up in a second. I'll just play about here just now while we're waiting on it. It's currently downloading the add-ons, as you can see, right? So you, while, while that's doing that, you can go back out and continue doing what you're doing, okay? Right, so there's Aries Wizard installed, all right? So I'm going to go to Add-on Browser, and into My Add-ons, and into My Program Add-ons. Right, and you've got Aries Wizard there. Open that and select open. Right, it gives you a nice little fancy screen here, and we're only interested in a couple of parts of this. Right, it's got built in maintenance, or you've got backup. It's a backup that we're looking for. Okay, so if I go backup on the left here, you've got select destination. Right, so this is if you can add a USB stick to your device or an SD card, whatever you need to do. Okay, you can add that. So I'll select the destination, right? And select here, backup destination folder. All right, so I'm just going to create one on my C drive and in my users. And, uh, and I'll go on my desktop and I'll create a new folder and I'll call it new build backup okay so that's done so there it's there there's a folder being created new build backup select OK all right then that's set there and I'll select OK again so then you click refresh and that checks the folder that you've wrote, the folder you've created, it can save to that. Alright, so you can do a couple of different things here. You can say, do a full system backup, back up your add-on data. As you can read, it's, you can back up everything. We'll do a full system backup. We'll select that. Let the wizard run and do what it needs to do. Takes a couple of minutes. Alright. And now I'll select make backup. Would you like to skip things like the code or log file packages thumbnails? This will say yes. Okay. So now it's backing up my 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 um, my build I've made. Right. Skipping the thumbnails because it'll reload them once I enable the once I restore the build. Okay. So let that whiz through, it shouldn't take too long, a couple of minutes. 
as I said, this is for if you're doing it internally or installing your build onto a friend's device or whatever. If you're looking to get other people to use your device, uh, it's not, not your device, your build, I would um, advise uh, hosting your build somewhere and maybe creating a wizard of your own or finding one of the other popular wizards and see if you could be hosted on there. All right. So it's giving me a couple of errors there. We'll run through that and we'll see what it is. So we're halfway done. I have kind of touched on this video before. I've done one the same. So I'll just uh, take this a wee minute just to say um, I hope you are all enjoying my uh, Nebula build. Um, there will be an update coming in the next couple of days. A uh, couple of more sections added, a couple of different add-ons added, and uh, just a general little tidy up. But all the feedback I'm getting, I'm getting some quite good feedback on it, so it's my pleasure. So we're nearly done, 75%. Alright, as you can see, it's backing up 16,877 files, individual files, alright? So it will take a little bit, depending on the size of your build. I've seen uh, some lovely, fantastic builds getting posted on the Kodi 9.11 uh, Facebook page. Right, so it's saying my backup's complete. Errors are occurred. Do you want to view them? Yeah, I'll have a look. Right. So it's just images. It's just uh, because I select don't uh, save the images because it will rebuild them. Yeah, I'll just say yes there. And download your backup is now ready to use. Okay, so let me go to my Kodi folder, right, uh, let me close that, right, let me close Kodi down here, now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, oh, there's my, I'm going to go into my roaming folder, right, and I'm going to delete my co that build that I've been showing you how to do this tutorial on, so let everything delete, Right, so that's gone. So now, when I open Kodi, it's as if it's a blank install, right? Okay, and the only thing you need to do is we need to go to Settings, and to File Manager, and we need to add a source, and it's going to be the Aries Wizard. So if I select in there, put the Aries Wizard back in, Alright, and I'll just call that Aries and select OK. Now if you go back, back again, down into add-ons, add to the box at the top left, install from zip file, set, do your uh, unknown sources, and select yes, back again, install from zip file, we're looking at Aries, again, scroll all the way down to the bottom, if you're looking for script Aries Wizard, install that, let that download the files it needs. As before, it will take a couple of minutes. Well, I'm just playing about here while it's um, going in. See, it's currently downloading the add-ons. I find just going in and out just kind of kicks it up the butt a wee bit. Won't be long, right? Aries Wizard installed. So now go to my program add ons, open up your Aries Wizard, let it run through its fancy screen. Okay, this time. 
rather than go to backup, we're going to go to restore on the right hand side. So I'll select the backup file. Right, so I'm going to go to backup file and it's on my C users and the uh, desktop and Aries backup there it's there right so that's the one I just done okay you can save it elsewhere save it to a thumb drive wherever wherever you save it to make sure you point this folder here <coughs> excuse me point that to that I'll select OK then I'll set refresh and this checks it runs through it and make sure it's going to be good for you Right, so there's my, my zip file size, total files, and I'm going to restore the backup. If you had any favourites or sources, or ex external sources you've added or add-on settings you've set, you can keep all them. I'll just select proceed at the minute. And you let that run through and we add everything. And again, it takes maybe five, ten minutes to do this. So it's got 15,487 files to load. Okay. So it's not going to go at the speed of light, but it does work. And as I say, I found this is the easiest way, rather than hosting it online somewhere, if you're just doing friends and families or other devices in your house, whatever you need. So we're rattling through that at a great speed of knots. And so far, so good. It's got no errors. We're nearly done. As I say, uh, sorry I've not brought this uh, video to you sooner guys, but I have been busy over the last couple of days um, making that build and also um, the poor old missus says I've been neglecting her because I've been doing that build, so I've, I've been trying to give her some of my time as well. But I like these lot a lot better, so that's why I'm here doing this. If you do have my build installed, um, if you do find any problems with it, feel free to drop me a wee line on the Facebook group or Twitter or Google Plus, whatever you need to do, and uh, let me know what errors you find and I'll have a look. So we're nearly done. 13,500 done already. So it's not the fastest way of doing this, but it is the easiest I find. So there's my restore complete. I'll select OK. Backup contains settings. To apply this, it must be forcibly closed. So it'll force close your code. Now, when I open code backup, there's a build that I had in, and it's reloaded all the images. Yeah. So that's how you do that. All right, pretty simple. Okay, guys, and thanks very much. And I really hope that these um, video tutorials have been uh, good. As I said, I've seen some fantastic builds getting posted, and um, I'm looking forward to maybe trying one or two of them out. Okay, and if not. Please give me a big thumbs up and a wee subscribe if you haven't already and uh, feel free to comment. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.